Books here, OS Reviews. You're watching our video review of the KD Lynx AM02. This is a wireless mouse or a wireless remote controller for a PC, Mac, or Android box. And it works exactly as you would, you would expect something like this to work. It supports gestures, so you can wave the remote um, and around you, and it will support allowing the, the cursor on your computer to move in the direction that you want it to. So it's great for couch surfing, watching videos while you're sitting down with a computer uh, connected to your television set, or of course for giving presentations, it works that way as well. Compared to the AM01, the AM02 offers the benefit of a QWERTY keyboard, which we'll see in a moment. The packaging is pretty petite, um, and also it can be purchased through Amazon or AM or of course through KD Link's website itself, and it's about $30 MRSP, so it's a pretty good value um, in terms of the price, and again, it's a plug-and-play experience, so you don't need a driver to get it working. Um, again, it's slightly of an upgraded uh, model, but it still works very, very well, and we'll take a look at the design in a moment. In the box, we also have access to a micro USB cable for charging up the rechargeable lithium, lithium iron battery on the actual wireless remote, which is pretty nice. There's also the, of course, receiver tip for you to plug into your computer, so that the actual process works. There's also a user uh, manual or user guide for the actual mouse itself, uh, which is printed in black and white, and you have a key for all the different buttons on your remote, and that is it. The actual receiver itself is quite small, and it includes a cap for you to protect your device with. What I really like about this particular receiver is there's a label on here, uh, which is actually below the tape, that shows you that this is a multifunction remote control, which means that you won't get it mixed up with other USB thumb drives that you might currently own. The actual device itself is crafted out of a piano black glossy finish. It tracks quite a bit of fingerprints, but it's still pretty sleek and easy to use. You can see that on the front side, we have access to the traditional buttons and keys. From a four-way navigation toggle and an OK key, it's well-spaced and large enough to press quite comfortably. The top features a power on and off switch. There's also enter back switches. And on the, on the bottom here, we have some more uh, buttons optimized for Android, including home and menu. On a Windows or Mac computer, these buttons will still work, but they'll correspond to slightly different functions. For example, menu will bring up a, a different search icon on a Windows computer than it will on the traditional Android device. There's also a volume control keys that work just fine, and some programmable keys that you can set to your liking, some mute keys, and some other special keys uh, that are suited for an Android bo box the most. The bottom device features a mini USB, so the old-fashioned uh, version for charging the device's battery, and it takes about two hours to fully complete a charge, and after being charged up, it lasted us quite a few uh, days before we had to recharge it, which was definitely good. The left-hand side also features an LED indicator that will illuminate uh, yellow when a button is being pressed, and it will also illuminate uh, red when it's being charged. The top device is where the infrared sensor actually goes out. The product operates over 2.4G, so it has a um, GHC, GHC actually, so it offers a 10 meter range, so it's quite, quite a bit of a, a distance from your couch to the device, so it works pretty well. The top also features a lanyard strap in case you want to have something uh, hooked, on, hooked on here for you to carry around. And the actual QWERTY keyboard is well uh, centered and spaced out as well. It's in this island la layout, so all the buttons are risen above the surface, tactile, and easy to press. However, one downside to this keyboard is that it, because it's a remote, it's actually quite long. So getting your hands to actually type on the center is a bit of a stretch just because of this design. So it's a little bit difficult for people with smaller fingers. Um, and also because it's kind of thick, you can't really type like this. So reaching towards those center keys takes a little bit of acclimation. Otherwise, it's a great four-row keyboard with all the buttons risen above the surface. Again you have some dedicated numerical symbols, so you can always press those, and it makes text entry a lot easier than its predecessor, uh, the AM01 keyboard, which did not offer a QWERTY keyboard. And so again, if you're browsing a web, you can also input text in addition to, again, watching videos, using it as a cursor or a mouse, um, and also using it to, again, give presentations, which is, all in all, very nicely designed. We'll take a look at how it actually functions. Oh, using so actually using the KD Lynx F10 controller is quite simple. Again, we simply just plug in the USB tip to the USB part on our computer. In our instance, it's a Windows 8 device, and it's again a plug and play experience. So there is, you know, again, nothing that needs to be installed in terms of drivers to start using it. We simply power the device on, and um, after the device is powered on, we can start using it. And it's actually quite responsive. It's easy to use. Again, the, the cursor moves around as you navigate uh, your arms. It's the six axis. Um, controller for the tilt and gyroscope and the accelerometer, so it's very sensitive, it's easy to give presentations with, to give lectures, we can press OK and drag, um, again we can back keys also work as well whenever we click on something, um, again there's an LED indicator that will flash to tell us it's being pressed, and we also have these home keys, the volume controls work just as advertised, and also the menu key works as well, so it's a pretty full-on system that works as you might expect it to.
Now, taking a look at how text entry would look, we can take a look at that. Um, all we need to do is bring up the search on the side and bring up the keyboard and we can just turn the device over. Now the tilt sensor on here is actually very smart. Whenever we tilt the device over, the mouse itself automatically closes itself up and we can start using the keyboard to type. Um, and when we turn the device back over, the mouse actually appears again. So again, whenever we turn the device around, the mouse itself actually stays in place. It doesn't move anymore because it knows that we're typing. So it's a very smart sensor. The program has done that already. So it's something that the company did a great job with. As far as the keyboard is considered, again, it's very tactile. It's easy to get typing with. Uh, it's a little bit awkward sometimes because it's a little bit of a stretch to reach some of the keys. But over time, you definitely get used to it. And again, the keys are very, very responsive. Um, and it's a nice way to input text from your couch or giving presentations um, as a whole.